First of all, I want to thank you all for coming and celebrating this beautiful new marriage, especially all of those who had to buy a plane ticket and take off of work to be here. We so appreciate all of you guys. I know it wasn't easy. For those that you don't know me, my name is Teresa de los Santos. I'm the older sister of the studying bride tonight. For those of you that do know me, you know what I like to drink. <laughs> Mary and I are three years apart, and being the younger of the five, we're always home together, waking up early while mom went to daily mass and dad worked. We would watch Hey Arnold, Rocket Power, Bear in the Blue, Blue, Big Blue House, Gullah Gullah Island. That's just a few. I can't remember ever fighting with her unless she copied what I wanted for breakfast or lunch. <laughs> I would always ask her, why are you copying me? And she would tell me, I'm not copying you, I'm hungry. <laughs> but I promise you, if you're ever hungry, come over, I'll cook you something. Another time I could remember fighting with her is when my older cousins were over, Michael and Adam, and of course my older brothers. They would always get us pretty rowdy and want us to fight. <laughs> we would always fight, and Mary would always beat me up. <laughs> Mary was always quiet and the epitome of a tomboy. She almost always wore her hair in a ponytail and never wore sandals. It was always tennis shoes. She was an aggressive soccer player and even better basketball player. Super competitive and she always gave it her all when she was on the field or on the court. Mary has always had an old soul. She has never been materialistic and her outlook on life was far different than someone her age and more mature than others including myself. I always joke that she's my little older sister. When I got pregnant at a very young age, she told me how disappointed she was, and it really bothered me. Not because she was upset, but because I knew I let my little sister down from being a good mo role model to her. She was my younger sister, yet she was the wise one. She was upset with me, yet she loved me unconditionally, and was still such an amazing aunt. Mary, I love you so much. Thank you for always being straight with me and telling me how it is. I know in life nothing came easy for you, but you fought hard and you preserved with all the late night study sessions and everything that you did. I'm proud of the woman you've become. Even though you're my little sister, I really look up to you. You have taught me so much and I'm forever grateful for it. Jonathan, I'm not gonna tell you anything you don't know about Mary, but I will tell you something you might know about me. I'm crazy. If you hurt my sister, I'll look for you, I will find you, and I will kill you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you for being my sister's other half, for loving her the way you do, and for making her happy. It's not easy loving us Galvan girls. Other, I mean, I'm sure my husband will tell you different, but <laughs> I know I'm easy. But after today, life goes on. It's not gonna get easier. It's gonna get harder. And you're gonna have times where you don't know what to do, you don't know what your step, next step is gonna be. But I want you to stand there, look at each other, and just know with each other, the next day is gonna go on. You're gonna, this is gonna be weeks, months, and you're gonna get through it. But you have to trust each other, you have to put God first, and everything else will fall into place. Just know that at your lowest point, I promise you, you will get through it as long as y'all are there for each other no matter what. It's not going to be easy. It's going to hurt really bad sometimes. But just put each other first, put God first, and I promise you, it'll work out. I love you, Mary. I love you, Jonathan. Thank you so much for everything. Seriously, I see Mary. I see the look in her eyes, just the love, and we love you. Here's to Mary and Jonathan. That was beautiful. I don't know if I can top that. <laughs> um, when I think of Mary, I, my name is Monica. Monica Galvan Mank. I'm the eldest sister of Mary. And um, I. I remember when Mary was born. I remember my brother, DC. Hold on, baby. Uh, 
was always like, I'm going to be the one always with Mary. I'm going to love her more. I'm going to take care of her. I'm gonna, and I'm like, no, I am. I'm going to be there for her. And, I'm, <laughs> and I remember seeing you, and you were the cutest, most beautiful little girl. Like, you still are. But you, never, you know how some people, like, they don't really turn out as cute, and then they get <laughs> cuter? No, you were always so cute. And your personality, too, just was so precious and so sweet. And... Uh, just your aura was, was awesome, and um, that's rare to find. Um, to be able to have a beautiful sister inside out, and like Teresa was saying, she's very selfless, and that's what makes Mary so beautiful, because in these days, it's hard to find someone that's giving, that gives and gives and gives, and doesn't even think about receiving back, and that's Mary. Uh, she's she's a one of a kind <laughs> you truly are and um i just mary is was always wise beyond her years she did everything that her elder brothers and sisters shouldn't have done <laughs> she, no, no, not that we she learned she did it the best way possible and that took a lot of wisdom and um not that we're still you know didn't gain wisdom in those ways but you i'm so proud of you we helped you by seeing us what not to do. <laughs> but um, we love you so much, and I'm just so proud of you and everything you've endured and um, overcome and still will overcome. And I, what I love about Jonathan is that you bring the best out of Mary. You're able to calm, make her feel at ease, and you are also selfless. And that's kind of hard to find in two people. It's usually sometimes more one more than the other, but I, I feel that with both of y'all, and that's that's pretty awesome. That's that's uh, what makes a good marriage is to have that selflessness. Because like Father Frank was saying, love is sacrifice, and it's not going to be easy. You are going to have a lot of hard times, but to be able to give of yourself when she's down and she can't do it, and you're able to do it, that's what you are going to need from one another. So I love you, and I, I appreciate all your love and being there for me through everything I've been through, and my kids, both of y'all. It's, it's um, what family's about, and the love that we have is, and y'all have, is priceless. And I'm so happy for y'all. I love you. Love you. Toast. Hello, my name's uh, Christopher Aaron Gutierrez, Jonathan's cousin, three years older than him. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be able to top that, it's going to be pretty short. Uh, I've, I've always considered Jonathan family since the day he was born. It's pretty, I mean, we grew up together like brothers, played a lot of sports together, played outside a lot. All of my childhood memories are with him. We had a lot of fun, hurt ourselves a lot, got scars all over his head, and he's missing some teeth and stuff like that. But, you know, we always hung out, we always had a lot of fun. And Mary, um, as soon as I met you, I loved you for Jonathan. I always wanted y'all to be together. I tell him that all the time. Don't mess it up, don't mess it up. Go fix this, call her right now. All the <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, basically. He asked me to be the best man. I was so happy. I was like shocked. I was like, really, me? And then he said, you have to make a speech. I'm like, why me? Why do I gotta do this? Maybe I should have uh, bullied you a little bit more when we were younger, you wouldn't ask. But um, no, I love both of them. They're gonna do good together. If you ever need me, call me. Live right down the street, not that far away cut your grass for you, whatever you want me to do. <laughs> you know, I love both of y'all. Mary, have a, you're the best. You're the best for him. Y'all are good together. Y'all are awesome. I love both of y'all. And that's it. Let's have fun. <laughs> Thank you.
to Mr. and Mrs. Sanchez. Cheers. It's Puro Party, Puro Party. Yeah.